Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. How's it going? How's it going? Well, what day is it? Tuesday, beginning of the week. How about that? <laughs> uh, so, Blood Bowl 3. We have our lizard men, our skinks, his skinks team. That I started up last week. I played, <laughs> I played two games on stream and I lost them both. And then I played one game off stream. And I won. So <laughs> the next challenge will be uh, winning a game on on camera, proving that I can do it. So we've, we've got some star player points, but no one actually has enough to do what I want with. Uh, six is the minimum, right? If I have a little look at this skink. Um, what do I want for you? Yeah, six to pick up something in your primary, but a good random. Then... Characteristic would be nice, but yeah, what am I trying to random? I'd want... I want Sneaky Git. Yeah, that's really what I want. I want Sneaky Git and I want... Dirty Player on at least one of these guys. So I can have a Fowler. Hmm. Any of these little ones useful? Real catch test, that's not very useful. Jump up. What's a safe pair of hands? I don't know. There we go. Now uh, you can put the ball down if you get hit. Hello, Aquiline! How's it going? Sidestep would be alright. But yeah, that's not a lot of stuff that I'd be looking for. Then you get in sidestep. Oh, whoops, didn't actually mean to right click, but that's fine. So yeah, I'll probably save up a uh, six. Save up six, get a sneaky git. Save up another twelve, get a dirty player. That's expensive. Characteristics would be cool too, but it's expensive. It's expensive. Sauruses. As day, I got up super early today because where it's like summer and it it's like hot and bright in the mornings. So I'm like, well, I'm really bad at getting up, but maybe because it's bright, I'll I'll do better. I'll get up early and I'll do stuff before work and that'll be great. I'll have time to play my game, I'll do my workout, get it all done early. And it worked. I got up at six and I did my stuff and I like placed a Final Fantasy before work and that was that was good. I'm a little tucker now. <laughs> it was hard, it was hard getting up. <laughs> it's always hard getting up. Uh, I hope it's gonna sleep it sooner. I did, I did get a bit a bit earlier. I did get a bit a bit earlier. It doesn't help that I realized the day before it was Sunday and I wasn't feeling great on Sunday. And I had a nap and I went to bed at like nine <laughs> on that day. So I guess in comparison it wasn't earlier. <laughs> uh, I went to bed at, at like ten past eleven I think it was last night. So I'll probably try and get to bed at eleven tonight. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what am I looking for? A new block. I'm looking for block. Maybe frenzy? Maybe pro? Uh, what else would be good? Let's break tackle. Mm, if you, after dodge, you can maybe change it. 5 plus 1? Okay. Guard, guard would be good. Block guard's always great. Sam Burns, nice. Alright, so I'm looking for lots of skills on these guys. Uh, are there enough skills that I would like that I could random one for three? What would I be sad to get? Any hey, teammates? No new teammates, but I did win a game, so I've got some star player points. Mm, I don't really want sure hands. I don't really care about Fend. That's Dauntless. Yeah, yeah, I was very proud. I won against a team of orcs as well. I was really scared about against orcs. I think they're good against lizards. But I did it. I won. I did some very I did some clever handoffs and I won two to one. Uh. Hmm. I wouldn't want you to get dirty player either. I think I'll just save up the six for for uh, for block. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll save my style player points. I don't think I'm going to random. Too scared to random. Alright. 
That's a weird noise outside. Uh, Alright, let's go. Ladder, season one. Skinks and skinks. Oh, whoops, I thought, I thought I had to hold it then to uh, make it search. <laughs> We're in. We're searching. See, uh, I'm 10-16. Oh. So I'm against a human team. They're not at, ma at the minimum team value. Well, not minimum. Not at, like, the average starting team value. They're a little bit below. But their coach is a higher level than me. It's snowing. That probably has an effect. <laughs> okay. Lizards. Let me see. Let me see that their guys. See if there's anything scary. Humans are good. So I'm a little scared. They can have a lot of skills. Because they've got like catches and blitzers and stuff. Mr. Snig. Okay. Well, I, I don't want to use my uh, treasury on anything. So let's go. I don't need to buy anything. They might buy something because they're... Their team value is a little bit below mine. But not by much. I think they can maybe get a Bloodweiser keg. I think it's maybe like 50,000 below me. I think it was 950. I don't think they'd be able to pick up like a star player or anything. There's a star uh, source. They won the kickoff. And they are going to uh, receive it. They're going to receive it. Okay. Uh, all right. It's a little unusual. I'm going to put my skinks kind of like this. They're receiving so I can be a little bit aggressive. Mm -hmm. Use something like that. Keep my skinks mostly back. You can have a friend. Maybe like that. Okay. Actually, put you a step closer. There we go. There, there, they're safe. Are you safe? No. <laughs> I'll keep you one more back. All right. So they've got. This is their uh, thrower. That's their thrower. These are blitzers. These are catchers. These are catchers. And that's their bloodfish ogre. And these are just linemen. Oh no, they're blitzers too. I just can't see their skills. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky because humans get to start with a lot of skills. And my my lizards are probably going to have a little bit of a hard time pushing this guy. Let's see, strength five. By the way, there's only one strength up. That's not so bad. I could like push these two out of the way and have advantage, I think. Oh, there he goes. I had another one. But then he's putting kind of a lot into this uh, line of scrimmage. He's going to put five people on his line of scrimmage. Where do I want to throw it? Do I want to give myself time? Or do I want to basically throw it into his catcher's arms? I'm going to throw it like a little bit behind. There you go. Not sure who won that. I have no assistant. Okay, they got a team reroll. They want it. Oh, they, they rolled a five, I rolled a four. Neither of us had assistant coaches. All right, so he's got the ball. Oh, and he's also got red dice. What about that? It looks like a, a dice that I have in real life, the little red one. All right, little shove. I kind of don't mind not being next to his uh, ogre. <laughs> That's fine. Gonna make a little cage. Oh, it's ganging up. Ganging up on that Saurus. Mm, two samples. They have four rerolls. He is fine. No injury. Armor of 10 is nice. 
All right, he's getting powered as well. Wonder what kind of plan's gonna work. All right, still didn't break my armor. We're good. All right, I mean, so far so good. He's gonna blitz this guy. He's gonna blitz this Saurus. I mean, neither of my guys are injured. They can just stand up and be fine. And my guys are stronger than his guys. By two. My Saurus is stronger by two. I think my Skinks are like equal then. Blitzers might be a strength three. Yeah. So, I mean, he shoved me away from his ogre, which is cool by me, because this ogre every time has a chance of just not acting. Also has a chance of losing its tackle zone. So if he wants to put that as part of his cage, he is welcome to. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Alright, where are we at? Uh, so none of my guys have easy hits. Where do I want to come from? I'm kind of to come up from behind and like knock this guy out. He does have dodge. Like yeah, see if I can bash this guy out. My Soros by itself has has two dice on it. I might bring the skink over for, for support. I should stand these Soros's up first before unless just in case this goes horribly wrong. Um Over there. My blitz is going to be up there, so my blitz isn't going to be here, basically. Bring that skink into, like, my little line of skink. You go ahead and just stand up where you are. Alright, I'll work out what to do with them in a minute. We get three dice to power on, power them that way, and follow. No injury, but now his capture uh, his ball carriers in my tackle zone and following that success who can I get up there I can get some skinks he has to dodge to get there so he doesn't have to dodge to get there bring in the cavalry <laughs> how should I put this one this stops him from running that way but he could try and just run this way so I need to keep some skinks on this side as well. And yeah, just kind of spread them out a little bit. Spread those skinks. And maybe I'll stick the saurus over here. Just to spread the sauruses a little. Alright, what you gonna do? This is by no means an iron defense. <laughs> he has a lot of rerolls. All right, got a pal. Interesting that he followed because now he's up in my skink's face and my skink has assists. But it's blitz, so he can't hit anything else. Oh, actually, he could hit one of these sauruses with this guy, but that's all he can do. Oh, you might try a throw. I forget that people can throw and catch. Because I don't play teams that like to throw or catch. <laughs> I like lizards and chaos and neither of them. Neither of them like to, <laughs> to pass or catch. Hand off Sony. <laughs> I think he had to score the goal last time. Oh, he failed his catch. He re-rolled it. All right, so he can't. He can't get it down. Yeah. Okay. My skinks can get to him because my skinks can move super far. I think even my saurus might be able to get there. Yeah. He's trying to block me off, my skinks also can dodge. I mean, I think my skinks could probably run in that way, even. Maybe not, maybe that'd be too far, but... 
Let's see. Oh, I'm for a rush. Oh, I'm for a second rush. Okay. You can go for a little bash, a little bash on this guy. This isn't scary because if he goes for a really early score, I can score. I, I, I will be receiving next time and I can score really fast as well. So it's fine. I'm not too intimidated. Because my guys run real far. And I don't think it's going to be able to stall. So let's stand you up first. Up you get, buddy. Alright, where are we looking to go? We'd have to do a dodge. Hmm. <laughs> okay. There's no dodging happening there, right? No rushes, no dodges. Okay. I want to free this skink to help, so I'd have to hit this. Push is fine. Push him over there, don't follow. The skink is now free. So what was I doing here? I was doing this, wasn't I? He rushes from that side. So my skink needs to be around here. Keep forgetting which one I'm, I'm clicking to, to do this. There we go. There's no rushes, no rushes. Or dodges. Wait, but if you blitz this, you can't blitz this. I realise. Yeah, that's one dice. It's not impossible. Not as impossible as it looks. <laughs> that one, that one's not happening. Maybe I take a one dice. The chance of me getting a second guy on there. It's also pretty like nailing those dodges both times. Seems unlikely. Wanna hit this guy first? Probably. Just you know, if I can take out any of his guys, that helps. Got a KO. Gives me star player points as well. Alright. Let's try it. Okay, we nail both his dodges, and we get Defender Stumbles. Does he have dodge? He does have dodge. He has dodge, so the stumble isn't good enough. Let's re-roll it. <sighs> I had to, I had to try. Defender Stumbles wasn't good enough. Uh, I could have followed a stumble, and then had him in my tackle zone. But that priority also wasn't big enough, because he would have just punched my skink. Basically, I had to roll a six. <laughs> uh, I'll take a KO on a skink. That's fine. You could come back. And also, he's just a skink. <laughs> now, if he doesn't take the score, I could probably beat him up. But... <laughs> He should take it. Boulder's Gate is something like that, but for communication with NPC? Something like that? Something like what? There we go, there we go. He's Oh, he's not going for it. Mm, this forest probably can't reach him. But that skink can. That skin could get up and leave. Oh, the rolls. Yeah, I really like um, seeing the dice rolls. Not everyone does. Not everyone likes to see all their dice rolls, but I really like seeing all my dice rolls. Mm, yeah, yeah, I've played D&D before. Rolling the dice is the, <laughs> it's the most fun. I like rolling the dice. Yeah, I know what Snake Eyes means. It's two ones. Pretty 
but I didn't learn it from D and D. <laughs> I already knew what that meant. <laughs> yeah. That uh, so what am I doing here? You can't reach over there. You, my plan will. You'll obviously be my blitz. You'll have to roll two dodges. You got two dice there. Let's go ahead. God damn it. Just wanted to get in some damage. Get very unlucky. Very unlucky rolls. Um, so let's just go for this. I have no rerolls left, so get up and go, buddy. Oh my god, my dude! Why are you so bad? Go get KO'd. <laughs> oh no. Uh, can I have like a little... Yeah, despair. There we go. That same, that same skink roll. Two attacker downs. Unlucky. Oh, yeah, this rolls from uh, persuading NPCs in the game. Oh, I like a sketch. Okay, yeah, yeah. We changed run. Like, like a Fallout. <laughs> or like just any game with a skill check. Central, <laughs> uh, like E67. That one in Constitute. What's that? Oh, continuation, is it? Yeah, yeah. I've never played Baldur's Gate, but I've played lots of games with skill checks. <laughs> That's very random. It's a percentage base, isn't it? Like the. Uh, like New Vegas. <laughs> you gonna jump my guy? Used to be oh no, it's doing that one. Yeah, yeah, the same in um in Blood Bowl that even if you do something you're really uh bad at, if you roll a six, you'll still achieve it. Uh, and if you do something you're really good at, you can roll a one and completely fail it. Yeah, we try to get natural. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it gives you some little epic moments. <laughs> Unlikely uh, victories and the like. All right, so he's gonna he's gonna carry on stalling. So I'll have to go beat him up with my, with my big boys because he rolls nothing but pals. Obviously, <laughs> they got a lot of pushes that time, but he's got a lot of pals. Oh, are you going to score? No, I actually went for it. Alright, I'm surprised. I would have stalled that out way longer. He didn't have to score there. He really didn't have to. But I couldn't get to him that turn, I'm sure. I'm sure none of my guys could get to him that turn. I <laughs> love momentum. <laughs> That's fine, he's left me five turns to score with. Which is fine, do my guys get up? One did. So I'm one player down. Hmm. Oh, check your washing machine. Make sure all is in order. I've got to do the washing tomorrow morning. I remember to, to do it early so I can put it on the line while it's all sunny. <gasps> my line's not up. Took my line down at the weekend. It's not up yet. Probably just put it out on the horse then. <laughs> um, where am I going to put my guys? I might, I might put my guys over to the side a little bit. And mess them up. Have a, have a little bit of a lean. I'm gonna put these guys. Put you like that. I mean, I could put you like back here. I could put you further back. Why not? I could put you like there. And then kind of keep a Saurus back too. All right. It is kind of a mess, but let's see how that works. 
Where are you going to kick that ball? I'm leaning, obviously, most of this side, but my guys, they run fast. They could be anywhere. High kick. Off you go, buddy. You mess it up. Alright, I do want to grab this ball. I grab the ball, where can I take it? I could take it right there. That's probably where I want to go with it. I have no rerolls. So I might want to start my line of scrimmage. Pow you back. Yeah, I'll follow up on that. Puts me into a tackle zone. But I'll be fine. It's just a push. Show him back and I will not follow that one. Oh, and you're going to take a short nap for the workout. Have a good nap. Have a good nap. Alright, you pick up that ball and come over here. Don't mess it up. Good job. You know, I'll move one more. Go there and then we'll box you up. Um, let's put that one there just to spread out a little bit and then I'll spread these guys out a little bit too. Mm. I don't need to have one extra guy floating around. From there. These kind of shoot-offs are so I can have someone, like, run ahead for a handoff later. But I got my Soros's. Soros is protecting. You can only blitz one thing, and you can hit this guy. But you can only blitz one thing. Oh, that was a stand-up. I, I couldn't see what changed. <laughs> Okay, so it's gathering up. Just a push. Oh, he's got block. He's got block. And he's done me. Alright. If my arm is going to be broken, a stun is fine. Oh, he's blitzing with his ogre. That was a dangerous game. That could have gone terribly wrong. Oh dang, two stuns. Because if his uh, ogre had um, failed his bonehead roll, he would have just lost his blitz without using it. Okay. Making a wall. A skinks can dodge. But we'll try and fight up with our Sauruses first. Oh, he is leaving that side open. That'd be good when this guy can get up. Alright, so I've got two guys stunned. What's your chance of sipping through? Low. Who are we going to fight? Probably you and shimmy ourselves this way. Hmm, probably there. Can, someone can't stand there safely. We can't make both squares safe. Unlucky. I'll shove and stay where I am. Am I happy putting a Soros there? Not really. I'm happy putting a Soros there. Where do I want my guys to be? Well, I want to run you, like, away. You're, you're a backup plan. You get somewhere else. 
I could make a line of three at the top. Create some danger. You can't Let's go, go there, can you? Ah! Twenty months? I can't believe it's been that long already. Oh my god, twenty months. Hello, Holla. That is that is forever. <laughs> That's a super long time. Thank you. How's it going, Hollow? Where am I gonna put this guy? Am I gonna have him sort of just keeping up the back? Yeah, why not? He's there in case anything happens. If that ball drops, he's there. He is there to help. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> A long time. <laughs> That's older than my skink. <laughs> Who is a year old tomorrow? Skink's birthday tomorrow. I've got a little hat for him so he can celebrate. Defrosting some squash because it's his favourite. He'll have his first taste of, of dog food because he'll be all grown up. Too grown up for cat food. It's very exciting. Oh, he went for the both down. I mean, he seriously hurts Ogre and my dude's just a skink. Did he think that was one of his... Um other units. I wonder. I wonder if he thought that was his blitzer. That, because, I mean, that was a surprise. That was a surprising move. All right, you're going to stand up. You need to hit someone that you, you can see. Well, it's going to be that one. Where are we moving to? This is like a scary position. Where's everyone going to be? You're going to get up and you're going to go there. And you're going to get up. And that's just the end of what you do. You just stand up. And over here. How are we moving? Are we looking to move? If I hit you. And follow. I have to deal with you. If I hit you and, f sorry, I hit you and follow. I'm now there. In two tackle zones. Put one there in a lot of tackle zones. Uh, I can put my skink there and hit this guy. Push there and be in even more tackle zones. I could alternatively reposition my ball carrier to this side. With a single dodge. Why do I have to dodge? Otherwise, you have to rush. If this Saurus wasn't there anymore, where are you running to? You're running to there. If this Saurus was instead here, I think that would be less of an issue for you. This match is going all right so far. I'm one down, but that doesn't mean much right yet. Like, that's that's fine. Mm. This gink, you're going to have to rush one. Good job. You you just head into position. Uh, if I put you there, your tackle zone, stop anyone from running straight there. And then up here, we enter combat. We don't let these guys leave without a fight. They're not getting over there and stopping my, my guy that easy. Get into all their tackle zones and beat them up, Sauruses. Uh, he's going to live. But I'm going to follow him. So he's not safe yet. He can hit back, but that's fine. Okay. I think that was an alright move. All being well, these guys won't be able to leave too easy. And I'll be able to just flee up there. <laughs> so I still got two times to score. And my guys, like, look how far they can they can run. Oh, and he turned over. <laughs> uh, that was very unlucky for him. 
All right, these skinks are getting out of here. You can hit that. You're not doing anything weird. You're not rushing or anything to get that. Okay. Okay. Whew. I thought they were all bad rolls. Shove him that way. Follow him. That should give us... Yeah, that gives us a path. Go, skinks, go. Yeah, the other two skinks are about to run ahead of you. See ya. Oh, didn't even realize there was a dodge in there. <laughs> go, skinks, go. Uh, this Saurus... He can kind of make it somewhere useful. You know? I don't hate that. What's important is to cover these spots. You can get there, okay. We're on the move, we're on the move, and then this spot has two rushes. If you go there, this tackle zone is like that. No, you gotta go there. You gotta do the two rushes. Before I do that. Can I beat up his guys? Push him down. Oh yeah, serious injury. Get wounded forever. <laughs> um, does that make your run any easier? Actually, if we get rid of this guy, that might make his run easier. Shove him up. He might have a, an easier path now. Mm, not much easier. But it's something. Ah! Uh, oh no! <laughs> it's okay, I have an apothecary. Uh, yeah, let's use my apothecary for that one. I'd rather him not just trip and die. There we go, no injury, he's fine. <laughs> Alright, Soros didn't trip and die. Unfortunately, this side is open. So this guy's probably going to come blitz. But it should be fine. <laughs> Hopefully one of my guys will catch the ball. He won't be able to pick it up and I can just pick it up and run, up, run it in. <laughs> but that was very unfortunate. Yeah, there he is. He got a pal. So I'm going to drop the ball. They failed a catch. It's on the floor. Okay. Uh, it's on the floor but it's not in any of my tackle zones. Yeah, yeah, BBP. This is another person. Can't believe my Saurus tripped and died. <laughs> Alright, he's not trying to pick up, he's just being near it. Oh, trip. Yeah, see me roll. We can still be okay. I don't have any more skinks on the field, I've just got those three skinks up there. Probably no Saurus is coming to the rescue. Because they're all in tackle zones. Just tripping random mechanical. So, um, when you move further than your move allowance, uh, you can move up to two further than your move allowance, but you have to roll a rush on them both. And it's usually two plus, but it can be three plus. I think it depends on your agility. Um... Also, the Saurus is free now. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. And so if you fail your rush roll, you trip. You can move as well. Can you be anywhere of use? Probably not. So you're going to stand up. Up you get, buddy. So if you're looking to take this ball, you have to... Roll a six to pick it up. So we have to do something about that. You stood up. My rush is going to be here. Push. 
I probably... Mmm, all these directions are rubbish. I'd probably push him onto the ball. To move the ball. Alright, now the ball is here. Not in as many tackle zones. Still in one tackle zone. I think it's now too f Ah, wait, I can hand off. Okay, knocked him over. I'm still in this tackle zone and there's nothing I can do about it. Ah, oh, you have no chance picking it up, though. Uh, if you got it. If you picked it up. You could then hand off to this guy. <laughs> it takes a lot of dice, but it's possible. Ah, <laughs> he missed a dodge. <laughs> ah, that was so unlucky. That trip was so unlucky. <laughs> if you, yeah, if you fail the roll, you trip. It's usually extra painful because rush rolls tend to be two plus, and so. Failing them, it tends to be a 1, but my Zorus did have a 3+. plus Because it's snowing, it's 3+. plus Because it's snowing, it's 3+. plus That's right. I get to, I get to try and score again. And then it's in my hands whether I want to try and go for a... draw or a win. Whether I try and get two fast goals or one slow goal. <laughs> if I can get any goals, that is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't didn't really think that it about the uh, the snow. Um, I'm gonna put my guys back in the middle. I think outside like nearly worked, but uh didn't quite work. In fact I might go more in on the uh on the the scuffle here. And then, I don't want to like spread these guys out. Put one in that wing, one in that wing. Keep these two back. Ready to, to form a, a cage somewhere. Oh, he tried to kick it all the way back. Rude. Oh, the weather's changed. Okay. What is the weather now? Is it is perfect conditions? Oh, uh, they messed up. Okay. Uh, enjoy your ball. Let me give it to you. All right. So I'm gonna form a cage. I'm gonna put my cage. Possibly up here. Ah, yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> These sources are on a roll. So whenever I get an injury, it's like really good. Because um, I believe any armor break gives you star player points that you can use to upgrade your guys. And I am very close to getting some skills. Where am I going to put this skink? Undecided. There's a nice pal. Let's just keep you in the middle. And over here. Maybe that one or that one. Ah, let's go for that one. Push. Oh, I could push you there. Follow it. And then I still have the assist for this. Another push. It just kind of lightly surfed in that direction. And this guy. I don't want you to get like hurt, but I want you to go forwards. But if if they use their blitz on this guy, that's also like not the end of the world. Go there. Be just outside of their tackle range. Actually, I haven't used my blitz hours and I won't because I didn't declare it before I started moving. <laughs> There you go, my guys are kind of spread out. <laughs> and his numbers are dwindling as I'm causing these injuries.
He has no dice on me, so he has to blitz for any hits. Meaning he can only potentially injure one unit this turn. I think I'm getting the advantage here because I'm injuring his guys and I only have a KO'd guy. So I think if I can go for a fast score, I get a fast score and then try and get a second score and go for the win. Ha ha, he got greedy. The push wasn't enough. Oh no, he has block, never mind. <laughs> if you have block, if you uh, select both down, you don't get downed. In fact, it's on any both down roll. You don't get downed. Oh, he went for a foul. He got his player set off. <laughs> that that's not worth it for a potential injury on a skink. Like, my unit's really cheap. I don't think that's worth it at all for him. What was my skink gonna do to you? Alright, let's uh shove this guy around. Yeah, let's shove him forward. I don't think I follow that one though. Then, how do I move my face? Tilting is, is sad that so many of his guys have been beaten up. Do I stand the skin cup? I think I stand the skin cup. He's strong. Like, my unit should be fouling. His unit shouldn't be fouling. Like, my skink. Hey, off you go. Get out of my face. Um, I probably don't want to... Do I want to go any... F Further? Can't hit anyone else. If I get well up here, I'd have like two hits on my cage. No, 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 no. We move. We move one square this turn. We inch up slowly this time, but we've got these sources on the move. He's got to he's got to keep these sources in mind. They are coming for him. Can you got a Paragon too? Asaurus did score in my uh, in the game I won off camera. Asaurus uh caught the ball like that so the ball carrier got hit. The ball fell into my Saurus's hands. By miracle, it caught the ball <laughs> and could run it through to the end. <laughs> he is ganging up on this skink. He wants to see it dead. <laughs> Porygon underrated him on high liners. Por Porygon, Porygon 1, definitely not as underrated as like Porygon 2 and 3. There's Porygon 3, isn't there? Yeah, there's a 3. It gets smoother and smoother. <laughs> I'm not such a big fan of the future Porygons. I do like original Porygon. It makes me think of the uh, arcade music all the time. Porygon Z, that's it, yeah. I always think of like the, yeah, the arcade music. I'm trying to win enough coins for the Porygon. <laughs> Alright, he is, for some reason, focused in on these two guys. I am not clear why. Because <laughs> I can quite easily like zigzag my guys like over here, which is what I'm gonna do. Like they are out of here. That's a rush, really. Oh, well, it's okay. You can be like one square instead. We're gonna be there then. I could put a skink on that side, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I'd kind of like to put it there though. No, it doesn't matter. It can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's still within its move range. That's the next important spot. Like honestly getting something there isn't important. It's not gonna then he's not gonna attack from that direction. And then where am I fighting? You're getting up. You're fighting there. And then you're like rush. 
and do something. Knock him over. Yeah, follow him up. Get get in get in that little brawl there. You can you can help too. You can all get in and help. You hop up and get in that spot there for the assist. You can only knock him there, move forward. So you can't just get up and run away. Do I want to leave myself there or do I want to put myself one across? I put myself one across, that puts my tackle zones here. They've already tackle zones there. No, I stay I stay there. Having the grid up on the map is really helpful for trying to work out where tackle zones are gonna be. Like not seeing the grid, like it looks very nice, but then you have to like hover over it to kind of work out where your tackle zones are. It's way easier to just be like, okay, yeah, these ones. <laughs> Now, all being well, I just run in. Then give him another chance. If he wants to try and score again. But he has less people than me. Especially since he tried to do that foul, which was questionable at best. And then I could try and score a second goal. <laughs> when he's the receiving team. Oh, is he going to take the attacker down? He should have. Because he's probably not stopping me from scoring. Because I'm a skink. Yeah, he's probably not able to stop me from scoring. So I probably, I maybe would have saved that reroll for the next uh, round. Because, you know, I'm not going to stall my skink there. Alright, he's probably in a second one. Oh, you kept that result. This guy didn't fall and die. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my skin doesn't have a clean run. If I kill this, oh, just knock this guy away, then I can run up the side. And this guy, I'm obviously not going to keep there. I will need assistance. From a skink on the scary side of life. These the, the edge sides are, are scary to stand on. Because you can be surfed into the crowd. No thank you. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Do you see those rolls? Did you see that? I re-rolled it and I rolled one and I, I rolled a one and a two essentially. And I re-rolled it and I rolled a one and a two again. And now he oh no, he can't surf the skink. That's fine. He actually shouldn't have used his both down there. He should have tried to push maybe to get me hit the skink off, but yeah. Uh I still don't think he can actually he'd have to jump over, I think, to to come in from the side. Or like do some dodging. That that's fine for him. He's got block. He doesn't get knocked down by that. Oh, and he has come. He has come to to hang out next to my ball carrier. All right. Well, that's that thrown a wrench into my plans. I was so confident. <laughs> Hello. Oh. It's He's formed a cage around my guy. <laughs> I could potentially just dodge my way out as well. There is an option. I could just roll because it only cost me a three. I'd have to roll that, roll that, roll that. I'd have to roll three, three or mores. But I could technically just leave. <laughs> so I want to fight my way out of this. You should stand up. Um, Should you stand up or should you blitz? No, you should stand. Let's start there. That. Knock him down. Go ahead and step forward, why not? Why are you dodging so many times? This one. I 
thinking, thinking. You take out this guy, you're surely only dodging this guy then, because you've run that way. Surely. I swear to God. Okay. You go uh, to the side, it's not quite enough. The tackle zones still exist. And off. Off we go. This ball is yours now. Go score with it. Hey, okay. I've I've discovered handoffs are my best friend <laughs> as well. That's how I won my other game. I did a lot of handoffs <laughs> to get there. Just running one, like just scattering my skinks, handing off, having them run in because they can run that far. They can run from like just off to like half court. They're great. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to have the ball. So I want a strong line of scrimmage. I want to be ready to run forwards. Mm, you know what? I might keep you guys like that. And these two skinks back. But not too far back. I'm going to move them each one forward. I think they're safe there. So basically, I want to kick off, and he doesn't have very many people. Look, look how few people he has. I probably want to kick it quite close. And then, or kick it really far, run a skink. <laughs> Try and get it off at his side of the field. Kick it like there. <laughs> kick it like over this way. Try and beat him to it. Or kick it there and then just grab it off of his person. I don't know, I'm really tempted by this. Get it completely out of his hands. Uh, Song gained loner, who was it? Oh, he, he did, he did. Okay, press the duffler in my favour. Alright, blitz and a skink. He holds that skink personally responsible for their goal. <laughs> oh, I was hoping to punch you. Instead, you punched me. I'm basically hoping just to, to send like this group. Over here. Three sources, three skinks. He is planning to throw the ball. But I got this source back here to fire him. That, that right there, that's a catcher. I don't want to hear that nonsense. <laughs> we don't do that here. We don't do throwing and catching here. This is Blood Bowl. None of that. He has Lona on these two though, and he's brought them forward. Lona means if he tries to use a team reroll, it might not work. Alright, stand you up. Also stand you up, but I might run you forwards instead of backwards. Get going, buddy. This one, I, I do want to keep back. I want him to fight over here. I probably want my blitz up here though. Like that, I think is my blitz. And put a skink there. For backup. And a skink there. So I have a tackle zone on the ball. Requires one rush, but it's only a two plus rush now because it's not snowing anymore. 
a push will have to do. Push and follow, keep him in my tackle zone. So my tackle zone being on the ball here makes it harder for him to pick it up. The more tackle zones I could get on that ball, the better, but I can't get any more. Unless I rush. Which I might, I might do that rush. Alright. Send up a couple of Sauruses. Let's send down a Saurus as well. That Saurus will stay here on defence. And you're going to put your tackle zone on that ball. Make it even harder to pick up. Also, I don't think you can be surfed. Right now, I think you're safe. And these two Sauruses. Do I get into some tackle zones? I think I get into some tackle zones. I think if you want to fight me, you can, you can try and fight me. I'll get into your tackle zone safely. Ah, it's only a 2+. plus. It's only a 2+. plus. We can roll a 2. There we go. Let's get in his face a bit. Even if he did somehow manage to roll all 6s, pick up that ball, throw it all the way over there and catch it, he'd still have to get out of this tackle zone. I think you'd have to roll a six to pick up this ball because I have two tackle zones on it. I think it'd be a six. It might be a five. I'm not quite sure what the numbers are for that. I'm not sure if strength comes into it, but I think it's just number of tackle zones on the ball. Nope, oh, he's trying. He did roll a six there. Oh, he got a lot of rolls and he's going for a pass. He's got a skill for it. Um, yeah, try and intercept it. It can only be you. I don't see how you're intercepting it, but good luck, buddy. Wait, did he pass it that way? <laughs> like, what? Did he miss? I might have missed. He did. He missed and landed there. And guess who has a skink? <laughs> Ready to pick up that ball. So that, that was hard to follow. It's hard to follow everything that happened there. But he did pretty well, but then he messed up. <laughs> um, Do I get this game to try and pick the ball up? I think so. I think I take the ball and I run it as far as I can. I think I try it. I don't take the two rush, though. I fight the, the two men. I fight his people. I keep my tackle zones on them. So he has to be real lucky. I was saying he messed up. Yes, roll poorly. Yes. Yeah, he messed up Messed up the roll is what I mean. Nope, not necessarily bad decision making. That may have been the best thing he could have done, but... <laughs> like he rolled very well for a bit of that but yeah he messed up the throw by by not rolling well and I'll just go ahead and fight his guys get as many of them out of the picture as possible I'm rolling all the pals now which I mean this is a good time to roll them roll them if you got them yeah okay, exactly as, like I mean, he got he got through the dodges. He picked up on like I think it was a five plus. Yeah, he did pretty well, but not well enough. <laughs> Push these guys into like a little uh, no bullying pile there. So I think I'm safe. I don't think he has anyone that can get my skink. Unless maybe if he got this guy up and blitzed, and then also got lucky on, on dodges and stuff. He's probably just going to try and beat me up for some star player points. I'll level up his team in the future. A 
But yeah, so basically he he got through my dodge, he picked up the ball, he got through the dodges again. Oh, he's fouling. He's actually fouled a Saurus that time though. Uh, I don't think he broke my armor. I think I'm alright. Yeah, I'm fine. And that'll turn him over. But yeah, so he picked up the ball, got through the dodges again, passed it, but he did a long range pass, so it was really unlikely to, to work. I'm just going to score. So yeah, it was really unlikely to work. So I got the chance to intercept from a completely different angle <laughs> because he um, didn't land the roll. And then because he missed, and I guess he got intercepted and just sort of bashed around, <laughs> it landed somewhere completely different than intended. There we go. I don't think he can score in one. He will try to beat me up. He gets one turn. I don't get any turns. So these fragile little skinks are coming all the way back. And I only want three on my line of scrimmage. There we go. Just try and uh, <laughs> minimize the number of, of uh, guys he can hurt on his turn. There we go. I got the win. I got the win. Unless he can pull off some sort of amazing one turn um, goal. But I don't think I don't think it's possible. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be possible because he'd have to have a throw uh, a catcher in position to reach my side of the goal. You would have to pick it up with a catcher. Oh no, he'd have to pick it up with a thrower. He'd have to throw it to a catcher. The catcher would then have to hand it off to someone closer, I, I think. Uh, it is competitive. This is the um, the season one ladder. So that, that'll be, I'll be even. I'll be even after this game. I'll be two losses, two wins. Officially okay at Blood Bowl, maybe. <laughs> Officially base understanding of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's blocks, so that's fine. <laughs> you can only roll both downs, but that's fine. Because he has block. One day I'll have block. <laughs> yeah, just to have fun. And I am having fun playing Blood Bowl. A lot of people weren't having fun playing Blood Bowl, but I'm having fun playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> I've never played a Warhammer game before. I like this one. <laughs> I like the most fantasy football. And if I keep leveling up my Blood Pass, I'll get uh, Skink Cheerleaders, which I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to having a Skink Cheerleader. They look great. <laughs> When I won my off-camera game, my game crashed, like, as it was going to the screen, so I didn't get to see, like, my results. Yes, I'll, I'll show you the skin cheerleaders, I can show you it on the, on the blood pass. So, I think I have enough for a, uh, Croxagore. What's my SPP looking like? Ah, still no one's hit six! <laughs> I'm getting a good, um, spread. Alright, let's get some rewards. Here's my blood pass. I've got some warp stone. Oh, just warp stone. So I've got 100 warp stone now. I think that's funky stuff. I like the, uh, I think you get like a, a spread of equipment. Like, it's not like, oh, we brought our lives and men, so all the cosmetics are for lizard men. It's, yeah. They're also very aware it's their first uh, battle pass, I think. So it's a good spread of stuff. But with some focus on lizard men. <laughs> like getting this ball. Where are they? Where are the cheerleaders? I really want to get the cheerleaders. You get some cool dice. Get a gold dice. You can get this um, pitch. You can get lots of equipment. You can get this little like uh, staff zone. I don't really know what. I guess that's just somewhere on on the field. Here, here are the cheerleaders. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> they got so many feathers. And they'll dance. 
<laughs> they're in the uh, the trailer dancing but yeah <laughs> looking forward to those rocks and gore yeah you get all sorts of stuff and yeah it's all like completely cosmetic as well which is always nice it's completely making your guys look cool and i get this coach as well <laughs> i want him to Yeah, some funky stuff. And then, yeah, that. Oh, that's interesting that they put that in the... Oh, that's cool. That's a cool head. <laughs> yeah, Triceratops head. Yeah, it's interesting they put them, the faction, there. But it's also interesting they brought up the faction. So the faction was free, and the blood pass was free. But the faction is essentially the first tier. Is there, like, a difference? I don't think so. But it's essentially, like, the first tier of the blood pass so I wonder if you aren't playing now and you start playing in the future in another season would you not have access to Little Mill? Do you have to buy them or something? because they're technically part of this battle pass? I don't know I don't know how that's gonna work I get my level 6 rewards as well that's another thing the ogres Uh, what was I gonna look at? Oh yeah, I was gonna look at the shop because I've got a hundred warp stone from the uh, blood pass so far. Let's have a look. I haven't really looked in the in the shop because they don't have any like cheerleaders or dice or anything. They just have these cosmetics. When the game first released, they would they did the cosmetics in a very bad way <laughs> initially, where it was like, so if you look at like this this you go ah oh, this is a sweet bid, and where it says it's for. Old World Alliance, Old World Dwarf, Troll Slayer. So you'd buy this and you'd get the bid for your Troll Slayers. But you'd only get one bid. So only one Troll Slayer could wear it. Now you get infinite. You can put it on as many Troll Slayers as you want. But yeah, initially you'd have to buy, like if you wanted to outfit all your Troll Slayers with that bid, you'd have to buy the same item several times. But thankfully they fixed that pretty quick when people were like, uh, yeah, we don't like this. We don't like this at all. I feel like having to buy the same, like, shop, like, pauldron for, like, all of their linemen. <laughs> you weren't a fan of that. <laughs> but yeah, they changed it now. Only, only legendary, um, cosmetics that you'd only get, like, one of. Uh, let me come back into my team and double check that no one's... Oh, you do have six. And you have nine. Okay, we can get some stuff. And I think I can buy a... A thing. A Croxagore. I can buy a Croxagore. Alright, absolutely give me a Croxagore. Um, I can't buy dedicated fans. Rerolls are too expensive. The sister culture, the cheerleaders, will just kind of bulk up my TV score for no reason. So give me a Croxagore. So my, my TV... Um, my team value will go up every time I buy something or level up my guys. So I'm basically going to take out, whoops, that's not the right button. I'm going to take out a skink with the low um, SPP somehow. Remember how to. Aha, over here. <laughs> Swap you two. So now my Croxagore will be in play. So Croxagore is cool. There he is. He's a big boy with a mace on the end of his tail. He's a big stompy boy. He moves six so he's still pretty fast even though he's a big boy. He's got strength of five so he's strong. He's not very agile. Can't pass. 10 plus armor value. So he's got bonehead so he might not listen to me. Uh, he has to roll a dice, see if he can do his turn properly. Is that right? Yeah, the turn this player ends. So if you roll a 1, he, he won't get to do anything. And he won't have a tackle zone, so people can just run, run around him. But if he doesn't roll a 1, he's big and strong. He did, the Crocs score did wake up and choose violence. Look at that face. Obviously he woke up and chose violence. <laughs> Look at him. Look into that eye. He's called Golden Tooth. He's got Lona, so if he tries to use a team reroll, he has to roll 4 plus to see if that works. Mighty Blow. If he hits someone, he has more chance of hurting them. Now, Prehensile Tail, I really like on a big guy. I used to put this on a centaur. 
um, on Chaos Chosen. This, because so you, when you have your big guy, you want to get him just into the middle of a bunch of people already to be a big threat because they're going to have to use a lot of people to try and take him down. So Prehensile Tail means that if they try and just dodge out, out of his range, they have to roll an extra one. So if they had to roll a 3 plus dodge, now they have to roll a 4 plus dodge. So yeah, that's... It seems really small, but it's really useful. <laughs> and then Thick Skull, I think it means he has less chance of like basically being hit and taken off the field. Yeah. Yeah, so if he's hurt, you have to roll higher to actually cause an injury. Unlike my Skink Lyman, who has Stunty. Which means you have to roll less to get them off the field. They're more likely to get hurt. Alright, so we've got a Croxagore, and he looks cool as well. <laughs> Cooler than the uh, the line run, the lineman. I, I do want to get a chameleon skink as well. That's the other unit, but I can't afford it yet. These guys are kind of cool. They uh, they dodge so that they're, they're agile. Um, I think my skinks have the same. So he's basically a skink lineman. He's got stunty and dodge, but it's on the ball. So when the turn starts... Uh, and you're receiving, he can like move three squares, I think it's three squares, yeah, he can move three squares towards the ball. Uh, also like when it passes and stuff, yeah. Yeah, whenever the ball's like doing something, he can move towards it. And then shadowing, which is interesting, so if he's, if, uh, yeah, so if the opponent needs a square he's marking, he can follow him. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's kind of cool. So I do want to try him out. But I don't have the money. Alright, skills. Isaurus Blocker has six. Welcome to the world of block. You can now use both down rolls. Uh, you have nine. Welcome to the world of being a sneaky git. You're going to do all my fouling. <laughs> And no one else has six. Okay. Let's see how that goes. So now my team value is higher. So I can get matched with other higher team value teams, which is scary. Oh, this is like the uh, divisions. Okay, so once I get 1,200 points, I come up to silver. That's interesting. I didn't expect my points to go up that high. And when I won the first game, I went up to, from 1000 to 1016. But then by winning two games, I've gone up to 180. Maybe it's because I was like, on a roll. Maybe you get more points if you win consecutive games. Yeah, that would make sense. So if you're like in a rank that's like too low for you, you'd come up really fast because you'd win consecutive games. Maybe. Alright, such an opponent. To probably be the last game for tonight. Because the games are long. <laughs> I can't imagine uh, more than two <laughs> in two hours. Let's see, let's see how my new Croxagore does. I'll probably have to manually change my uh, starting positions. I have to save myself a new one. I imagine it's not going to pull my Croxagore onto the field right away. <laughs> Let's make it count! See, you can see my, my uh, stats as well. You can see that I wasn't lying about my other win. <laughs> I do like that it keeps track of your team's um, progression through the ladder. Why is it taking so long to find an opponent? I might cancel and re-queue. Uh, oh, never mind. It found, it found one for me. <laughs> More lizards. Lizard v Lizard. But I have a Croxagore and they don't have a Croxagore. Look how big he is! <laughs> Doesn't help that he's standing next to all the skinks. <laughs> he's huge. My goodness. Look how big he is! He's, he's massive. <laughs> oh, they have a comedian skink. They went the other way. <laughs> Jesus. They went the other way. I, I went for the Croxagore to swap out a Lyman. They went for a Chameleon Skink instead of a Lyman. So, uh, oh, I haven't seen a Chameleon Skink in action yet. So this will be exciting. 
I think are we similar team values? Blue Godzilla Company Cup Cup Company. Uh oh I'm I'm uh underdog. Okay. Well I'll buy a I'll buy a cheerleader. I don't really have very much money. There we go. I can't really afford very many things here. I always forget, I think you can struggle this. Maybe not. I didn't want to use my uh, treasury. Uh, I want the coin toss. I will kick. Uh, Mr. Crooksagor. Please take your place on the field. Instead of this one with the 3 SPP. And Mr. Crooksagor, I would like you to be in the line of scrimmage. One skink there, one skink there. Something like this. I'm going to save it as something. Don't know if it's good, but it's something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would give my eye on you, buddy. I want to see what you do. Has he got any skills? He's got this skill. He's got kick, is that? No kick, he's got sneaky get. Which is my sneaky get? Did I? Ah, dang it. That one was my sneaky get. I took him off. Uh, oh well, I'll swap him on next, uh, next drive. <laughs> I didn't realise that was the wrong one. This one I was supposed to swap him for. I saw that one had three SPP. I was like, oh yeah. That's the one I, I don't want to have on here. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So he knows he's gonna cage around this guy. So but is he he's gonna cage with four skinks? I don't know about that. Um oh, I might like kick it and uh, no, I don't wanna kick it too close. I'll just kick it like there. And then he's on the ball. He moves three in that direction. Pitch invasion. Uh, he got one stun because he rolled higher. <laughs> I can only read that in the in the log down here. The the little events I wish they would make them clearer as to like who's won and who the effect is happening to. That can be a bit not clear. I have to look in the log for what happened. Oh dang, he stunned one of my guys right off the bat. He also has yellow. Oh wait, actually there's a new hotkey that might be useful here. Oops, not that one. Um, so, because we're both lizards and we're both wearing yellow. So, I hit this button, now I'm blue and they're red. That's a new feature. Particularly handy in this instance where we are both dressed in similar colours. <laughs> Oh, he failed his pickup. That is handy. I didn't think I'd use it, and then, yeah, perfect time to use it. What am I doing here? I'm not in range to hit anyone, which is weird. Like, I think maybe I just start running. Like, I just make, like, I mount two offences. Like, I step this guy forward and just have him hang out with these two. Like, he's just gonna vibe with them. You stand up and, like, oh my god, where, where am I putting people? Are you stunned? Oh no, you're stunned. You're not stunned. Oh, you were stunned from the people running on the pitch? On the pitch invasion? Maybe. Alright, we'll just move you guys around a little bit. Whoops. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna send like two teams down. Woof. Maybe I'll, I'll hit this guy for sport. You know what? I'm going to take the attacker down. I only have two rerolls. That's not an important action. This is not a pivotal enough moment for me to want to use one of my two rerolls to get a better hit there. So he is grouping up on my croc circle. Okay. He has stumbled me. I have to watch this guy. He's a sneaky git. He will want to foul me. I'm not sure what kick does, but it can't be useful. It must be something to do with passing, so I don't think they're going to get a chance to use it. I think that was probably an unlucky random. If it does what I think it does. Which is, I'm assuming it makes a long pass more likely. Gave my little skink a push. Don't appreciate that sort of behaviour. Oh, his skinks are teaming up on that guy. <laughs> they succeeded. So assuming he wants his uh, chameleon to come this way. But if he fails at picking up the ball again, <laughs> he starts to get in a really dangerous position having it, you know, the ball's right there. Like he is all in on this side. So obviously I'm speeding up the other way. Alright, jump to my guy, but he's fine. He's need to get to get to move again after fouling. Or a foul attempt. And he failed his pickup a second time. He re-rolled it. No, he didn't re-roll it. Okay. Uh, I can't get there this turn, but he is entering a very dangerous position. I'm not quite sure where my blitzes are. But I know where my skinks are going. Oh, that was a rush. I didn't mean to do that. I don't want my turn to end that early. You don't need to go that, that far, buddy. Okay, you can get there safely. You can get there safely. You can go there safely. Okay. They're all safe. And that involves rushing. I bet you just want to stick him in both of their tackle zones. He is a bonehead. So he can't move. Uh, then over here is fighting. You're going to rush. You're both going to stand up. Because you can't be pushed off this turn, I think. Mm, do you have any chance of doing anything? No. <laughs> Alright, well, one dice. Let's give it a go. He'd, my guy has block. It's not good enough. <laughs> my guy did have block. <laughs> Block doesn't save from attacker down though. Only both down. <laughs> now he's got to pick up that ball. Now I'm in the range that I could just swoop in and grab that and dunk it. <laughs> Which he won't he won't want that to happen. <laughs> 
He is still ahead of me in rerolls, though. He does still have two. Stumbling on my sauruses. If they stumbled my skinks, that'd be great because my skinks don't stumble. Alright, here right, he's bringing some skinks over. He sees my assault incoming. He has failed the pickup again. <laughs> Alright, he used to re-roll that time. I'm I'm shocked he, he failed that three times in a row. It's only a three plus as well. Alright, and he's off. Well, he did manage to get over to this side. But he's not that well protected. Unfortunately, my Croxagore didn't manage to get up last time. He wouldn't have been able to leave. But he's also kind of pinned himself over on this side. So my guys are now coming in from this side. The poor little skinks, they look so laid out when <laughs> they get knocked down. Alright, Crocs to Gore, you feel like getting up this turn? I'm not going to have you at or anything, just going to have you... Just get moving. Get involved. Right, what can I do? What does the rush there look like? Impossible. So. I mean, I'd probably either take out the Saurus or take out these Skinks. One there, put one there. I've got two dice now. That is good to me. Knock him down, follow up. KO, even nicer. Now I'm in your tackle zone. What else am I going to do though? So these guys are in a bit of a rose position. They probably just want to stay on the ground. If I stand them up, they have a chance of getting knocked off here. And I'd rather them just be there. So you stand up just to be in the way. And you, do I want you up here with this offensive? Yeah, probably. Then... Introduce some tackle zones there. Thinking, go there. That kind of creates a wall, right? His tackle zones are there, your tackle zones are there. And then your tackle zones will go there. We are spread. Leave the three lying down so they don't get <laughs> hurt real bad. They get it. These guys are making it so even if he tries to like dip and come this way, he still can't easily get through. He'll still have to make dodges if you try to like make a, a drastic run for it. But right now he's got to deal with this guy. But you can either try and like over like outnumber me like crazy with these skinks, or you could try he could hand off as well, he could hand off to this guy and make a run for it. Yeah, I imagined he was probably going to blitz in a Saurus. Alright, so Dagon is not on him anymore, but he can't come this way. He has to come this way or hand off and have someone else run around. Well, he, no, he could run around. He could he could actually come this way and dodge Tackle Zone, but he wouldn't be able to get very far. Because he'd have to use extra squares to, like, 
run sort of inefficiently. <laughs> yeah, it's clear the space this way now. But at the same time, it's not particularly safe. <laughs> I mean, my crocs of gold can just like come into like one of these corners and then suddenly it's much harder for him to leave. Yeah, put my crocs score in this corner. Puts tackle zones on loads of people. Okay. Um Yeah, my skinks have a bad time. Crocs to go. Uh, why do you have to dodge? Oh, because of this guy. Really, that guy's causing you trouble. Hmm. Well, maybe I'd be up him then and put my crocs to go there. He is causing a surprising issue. Right, push is fine. Get out of my face. Pow. Just need to budge along so my crocs to go can go there. Past Bonehead, and now he's a threat. Nowhere I can stand to make that more likely. These guys actually don't offer much in the way of assistance. If I put someone there it would help, but I can't. You'd have to jump, you'd have to get up and jump, which I don't think is happening. Jumping rarely is it rarely happens. Then I could form like a block back here to stop them from leaving. Stop him from just passing and backing out. Tackle zone there, tackle zone there. Uh, two squares there, two squares there, and then let's try our one dice. We succeeded. My guy does have block. Who do I want to push where? I want to push his guys closer to the edge. That guy, I hoped I could push everyone more that way. Then there. Mm. I don't think I've caused myself an issue. Trying to debate standing someone up, but it's really risky. You could jump on this guy. Mm, very unlikely to cause damage. Probably leave it there. He could try some handoffs. This croxagore stops a lot of people from moving unless they can knock him down. Or makes it very unlikely that people will move. Alright, he's used that skink to do a push. I said I maybe would have considered doing some some funky handoff thing, maybe. It's interesting that he's gone for this like bunching everyone up. I'm personally not fond of that. I like to spread my guys out a bit, and uh, so I have the option for some sneaky stuff. And my crocodile go, he's knocked down. Hmm. Every time, it's not going to my crocs to go down. Every time. I've also got a Soros here that you can't hit. My crocs go is supposed to be difficult to knock down. <laughs> I don't want to use blitzes on my crocs go to get him to like stand up and hit. Because if he fails his bonehead roll, I will lose my blitz. 
Because I would have had to declare it at the start of the turn. And I wouldn't get another blitz that turn. So I'm hoping he doesn't know about the B button. And he thinks this is his source. Okay, no. Not tricked. Alright, he made a run. Like, I can get to him. How much can he defend himself? Okay, okay, he's got a defense on the side. Oh, he got away. I was actually looking at that just then. I was like, oh, that'd be a good uh, good little hit. I want to get my guys up and put them somewhere useful. Might be a stretch. Uh, why don't you get up and go there? Help, help this guy in a fight, maybe. Not a lot of great places. You can all you can all get in someone's face. Do you want to be in someone's face? You'd have to succeed a dodge. You can't get there. You'd have to rush twice. It would really help though. Just curious what my attacks look like. You got up. Just pondering my choices. No rushing. Just bring you guys down. Not a lot of reason to still be up there. Okay, let's just let's try it. But this has to happen. Give it, give it a reroll. Why not? Ah, oh, that's still uphill, really. I thought it would be enough to make that not two red ones. I thought that would be one normal one. Can you blitz from any other angle? <laughs> ah, that's so unfortunate. Oh, you get one there. You have to dodge twice, though. Give it a go, buddy. It's our best chance. It's only a push. <laughs> Follow it. <laughs> mark him. Mark him with that guy. <laughs> Maybe he won't be able to dodge. Got two dice on this random skink. Get pushed. Um, probably just just push. Just push. Stay where you are. I've already blitzed. These guys may as well do something with them. Get two guys on him. Okay. Those ones. Those ones. <laughs> that was close. Oh, he's blitzing. He might fail. <laughs> Actually, he can't push me. Oh, he's pushing that guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> he had not prioritized getting his ball carrier safe. He <laughs> okay, my guy's only stunned. That's fine. He had not prioritized keeping his ball carrier safe. <laughs> he's went, ah, oh, the skinks will probably take care of that guy. Ah, oh, he can push me away. I thought he was attacking with this one. He's attacking with that one. Oh, but he's pushing me there. Why? You can't hit me again at an angle that would push me off the edge. You've used your blitz. Oh, he's using his chameleon to attack. 
Alright, he has ch he's chosen violence. He's chosen violence over scoring, and also all of my guys are getting stunned. <laughs> Not even hurt. Huh. Interesting. Like, my guys are pretty knocked over, but, like... I guess he's stalling. I guess he doesn't want to score early. Yeah, he doesn't want to score early because I can score fast as well. And he knows that. Because he's also lizards. He's just trying to hurt my guys for the next round, I guess. Try and stop me from getting a fast score back. All right, Crocs to go. Oh, he had he had a chance. He had a chance of helping. <laughs> so I mean, I've got a skink right there. <laughs> it's pretty unlikely. Also pretty unlikely. What makes that so unlikely? If we just mark up his guys. What angle am I attacking from here? From the middle. If I mark them... That's not mine. <laughs> if I mark them... This guy's not... Um, one of them, but... Ah, that's two rushes. Can you get there? Nope. Let's smack his guys around a bit. Let's get you moving somewhere. Can you move one more? Nope. You stay down. Where do you go? If I can move you anywhere useful? No. I mean, what's the chance of me rolling three pals? <laughs> both down! <laughs> They're all both downs! <laughs> My guy got injured. Uh, which I'll take. It's it's a skink. But, <laughs> knocked down his ball carrier. <laughs> I think he can still pick it up without any uh, <laughs> problem because <laughs> I have no tackle zones on it, but knock down his ball carrier. <laughs> Three uphill and got still still knocked out of his ball carrier's hands. Oh, and he has really bad uh, pickup luck. <laughs> alright, alright, he ran it through. <laughs> He's sorry, I wasn't playing around. <laughs> what are they going to stop going after his ball carrier? <laughs> I mean, I was pretty lucky. I was pretty lucky. <laughs> Across three dice, they were all bad for him. Sorry, I scored two turns. I got two turns. I could score in two turns. I was caught in two turns before. Why not again? Did my guys wake up? One didn't. But he's also missing. Oh, he's missing two? No, he must have an extra player. Oh, but it's okay. I'm not actually missing one because I had an extra player. A good player. Now, Mr. Croxagore. Maybe I don't put you in. Maybe I stick you on the side. How about that? How does that make you feel? You into that? What about something like this? What about something like this? Instead, I don't want my I don't want my sneaky get to be the ball carrier.
Because he can move. He's got like good movement allowance. Changing weather. Perfect conditions. Okay. Yeah, let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I shouldn't be any further. Got the ball, and off we go. One Saurus there. One Saurus there. One Skink there. One Skink there. They're on the move. Let's attack with this side first. Get powered. Get powered straight forwards. Follow up. So you can't just stand up and run away. Mm. Where do I put my blitz? I think I put you just up here. No. How do I get in the most people's spaces? There. So you just go there and you just kind of loom. That's what you do. You're a loomer. This guy is more who I would like to, to beat up. That's a rush. That's not a rush. Be an assist. Now we have two dice. You're not my block one. Push you that way. I will follow just to stay in your tackle zone. I don't want you to get over here. I could do something like that, I suppose. Can I go there with a rush? Oh, it's actually quite dangerous there. How about there? You can get there with a rush. Give it a go, buddy. Run. He did it. He rushed. And now my guy is safe. I don't want you to do anything. Just, just kind of be around. Be in the middle. All right, we're in a good place. There's definitely a chance I score next turn. I am within range. I guess he's just going to try and make a wall that he hopes I won't dodge through. Where are my other skinks? My other skinks are behind. Sauruses make it if I passed it to a Saurus. I could. Just considering my options, I don't think I will be passing it to a Saurus, but it's good to know my options. So he's thinking like columns. He's basically making it so if I just run, I have to get through two dodges. But if I just beat up one of them, it's one dodge. He's surely going to try and blitz here or here to get in next to me. You'd think. Well, oh, both down. And no rerolls. I wish my Crocosagor could stay standing for a turn. <laughs> I Crocosagor. I'm going to stand him up just because I, I would like him to, to, to feel important. To feel like he's here. So. Right now to get there. It's a lot of dodges. If I knock just one of them out, it's not so many dodges anymore. If you want forward. He might, his body might be in the way. I'm going to end up pushing him that way. I might have to jump over him. <sighs> this isn't my blocker. I'll take a KO, that's fine. Which is my one with block? 
I never, I never pick the one with block. Ah, oh, that's my turnover. Dang it. I need to remember that I have one with block and I should be blitzing with him. Because I would have won. <laughs> I would have won the fight if it had been that one. Ah, oh, my KO didn't wake up. That's alright. That's okay. He still hasn't seen what I can do. He hasn't seen me do a single handover. Doesn't know what's coming. So, who's who? Stein on his ability to side. Okay, let's get my blocker out up there. There's my blocker. I probably want to keep my people pretty much where they were. That's my sneaky git. Yeah, I'm going to keep my people where they were. That worked out fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with my positioning. Yeah, the, tu the tutorial was pretty good for, for teaching um, how to play, like the basics. More like how to control more than anything. And then watching an awful lot of Andy Daver videos has, has helped me understand the game quite a lot. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to it. <laughs> it's, it's complicated. Um, trapdoor square. Trapdoor square. Alright, what are we doing? How are we starting? Let's start up here. It's not really advised, but I'm going to do it. Going to push this guy around a little bit. Push him up. I did miss a tutorial. Uh, I didn't play the tutorial on stream. It's okay. <laughs> you can get there. That gets you in a bunch of people's faces. Pick this up and let's bring it this side. Got it, and we're off. Mm. I don't really want the sneaky get as part of the cage. Sneaky get is separate. Got my blocker on the side. What am I doing with this guy? I might tuck him here and then try and like spring him off as a little uh, separate threat. Could blitz like that. Mm, that's not great. Bring this guy over. And then look at this blitz here. That worked out. Knock you that way into my croxagore. I will not follow you this time. Because I blitzed like a move still even after my attack i can move on either side of my attack so i don't need to leave my cage position that was a little risky if i'd rolled two ones i would have been a pain and i still got this like little puddler guys so if he moves all of his people over here I then just like turn this into my cage instead and we head that way. Every time! <laughs> he is great at powering my, uh, as he called, Croxagor. I guess because they're lizards too, they know the weak spots. And he looks like a shark when he's on the floor. Also, I do keep putting him in the middle of like a bunch of people. <laughs> Alright, doesn't knock my guy over. My guy is fine. Oh, he's out of here. 
doesn't want to stand next to the crocs of gore when it wakes up. Now what's he doing with these guys? Uh, is he moving them this way? Is he moving them this way? This way. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm considering. Proxigal. You're gonna stand up and you're gonna go there. Not a bonehead. Alright, he is in their face. Is this my blitz or... Is... Are you my cage now? Is this my blitz? It makes a dangerous cage. <laughs> I think that's my blitz. They hit that and they can move in. It's a spicy cage. What are you up to? Not a lot. What about you guys? What can can you stamp on anyone? Not really. Not a lot of stamping from you. You could just come up here, stick you into the back line. Now I'm bunching up. And let's head this guy off. Where can you run to? Oh, you could like take the long way around. Is that what I want? I kind of want you just to like run like this. There you go. Forge your own path, buddy. <laughs> he's going elsewhere. He's a backup plan if I need it later. Oh, he's coming for him. <laughs> oh, this king's like, I'm on to you. <laughs> I know you're a backup plan. <laughs> I've been there too. Oh. We both have block. He could have taken the neutral hit. You're going to try and blitz here? It's not going to be a good blitz for him because I've got so many assists. That's why I, I enclosed <laughs> my, uh, my ball carrier. I knew this was an option. Oh, he's still got two dice, really? It hasn't knocked me over, though. I got dodge. In fact, he's pushing me into a square that I'm quite open in. <laughs> he may have pushed me into a position of freedom. Can't make it though. Not far enough that I can just run for it. Safely that is. Both doubts on my blocker, isn't it? He rerolled. He is using his rerolls for some not great rolls here. He's rerolling his turnovers into like pushes. But I don't feel like this is the most pivotal of moments. Alright, Mr. Croxagore. 
This would be a great one. Push. Which way are we pushing? You can just show everyone that way. Do you follow? Yeah, go ahead. Get in the middle. You're not quite clear. What type of zone is here? Oh, it's that guy. His blocker. <laughs> That's not my guy. Okay, okay, I see, I see. I got myself all, all confused there. <laughs> um, yeah, if I were to make a run for it, it wouldn't be great. I think we need to knock this guy out. Where did my sneaky git go? Oh, he's there. This is my guy. No, no he's not. Wait, <laughs> where's my one? <laughs> oh, he's... no. Did he get knocked out? Where's the other skink? He must be the one that's knocked. No, it's this one. This one's my sneaky yet. Okay, okay. I'm back in the room. Alright. <laughs> Let's go push this guy. Do I follow it? I don't think I do now. Maybe I do. What am I doing with you? Who's tackle zone? Are you still in? Are you still in a tackle zone? No, you're you're not in a tackle zone right now. I could pull you here and you'd be fine with that. Yeah. Happy to take a little bit of a backwards motion here. Still a lot of stuff happening up here. Pass you. Send you there. Um, Follow it. You're now free. Are you? Yeah, you're now free to go here. Got one there. You've got one there. I've got a lot of like, one dice. I guess let's try them. Step follow. Both down. Acceptable. Alright, that's kind of a weird turn. <laughs> Everyone was in like weird positions there. I'm looking to make some space for my uh, for my ball runner. Alright, he's making moves on my little side guy. I got power, my blocker. How rude. Is that a push? Nope, not a push. Alright, he's fine. 
You can still just run away, probably. If you felt like it. Oh, going for a foul. Oh my, oh my biggest guy, ah, stunned him. See, he is a um, thick skull, hard to injure. I think, ah, I thought he gave me space to run there. Push you away. Push you into that skink, that's fine. Away with you. Then I think the all my blitz. Put you into there. Do I follow? Yes, I can follow. Now he has some space. He has some space to roam. How far do I take him? Stand these two up. <laughs> trying to decide where like the safe spots are. There's something on that bottom corner. I don't love that it's my sneaky git, but needs to be. You dodge out of there. And you, can you dodge out as well? And just like head up somewhere else? Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Yeah, take the KO. My apothecary is just here to make sure like, my Soros and my Crocs uh, gore don't get killed, basically. That's what that's there for. We made an advance. I'm losing skinks left, right and centre, but <laughs> we made an advance. Oh. <laughs> Almost. If you had turned over right there, it would have been great. <laughs> I just still have two re rerolls. But I couldn't reroll that dodge. What was up with that? I just realised. I don't think it came up as an option to reroll that dodge, did it? Oh, he fell. And that should do it for me. Oh, almost. gonna punch that guy in the face and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and run it in didn't roll a one because <laughs> so, I want to try and go for a second goal I want to win I don't just want to want to draw I could have ran my goes over to the uh, the end zone I could have hung out there and waited for the turns to go down no that's not what I want Look at my cheerleader go. <laughs> my rental cheerleader. <laughs> Giving her all. Ah, oh, dang it. Neither of my KOs woke up. Of course. Well, I've still got a sneaky get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My kick off, so it's his go first, right? Oh, didn't mean to tuck you that far. It's like I want, I want this kink ready to run, but I also want them. Oh, maybe I'll stick these ones there and there. 
also want them to be safe initially and not get immediately beaten up. So his chameleon has on the ball. He can move three steps towards the ball. Does that mean he's moved it all the way back? Does that mean it's in my best interest to kick the ball a really short way and try and just fight it immediately out of his hands? Or is that dangerous? Because if I kick it only a short way, he can get it into my goal faster. But he's positioned his people for like a long kick. But what if I just like kick it like here? I kick it like right there. That was a high kick. <laughs> so you can go under the ball. Oh, you picked a different one. Alright, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate it was a high kick. He has no re-rolls. I got two. Bear that in mind. He's going all in on this one side, by the looks of things. What he did last time. He went all in on one side. I assume his blitz is coming on the Saurus. Yep, yeah, there it is. And it's a both down. Okay, go stand up. Gonna stand up. Let's get... Can you hit this? No. Can you hit this? Apparently not. That's a rush. That's a rush. Maybe we look at our fighting first. How do you do skink? Not so well. You stood up. Okay. Two dice, stumble, backwards, follow. You can only hit in this direction. A push. No ideal, but it's okay. They're both in my tackle zone. You are free to run. You are free to blitz. You are not free to run. You can get involved. You can get there. You can get there. Go for it, buddy. Welcome to the show. Uh, that's still just a one. My little guy isn't very strong, I guess. Yeah, it's unlikely. That <laughs> seems like an unlikely move. That's reasonably likely. There you go, you made it. Just getting some marks on. Still only one dice. <laughs> One dice. Well, you can come join this fight. I think I can knock out some extra guys and then we come up here for this. Skink on skink. Stumble. Oh, he has... Hmm. He has sidestep. I didn't realise that's what that was. 
sidestep. So he picks where he gets pushed to. Yeah, I didn't realise that's what that skill was. I thought it was a kicking skill. Alright, sidestep. That's a much better skill to have than any sort of kick. Alright, what's he gonna do? He's naturally going to try and beat up my skinks that are surrounding his skink. They have dodge so they don't get knocked over by stumbles. I've still got a tackle zone on him. But skinks are good at dodging. Um, you're not that skink though. <laughs> Alright, and landed in a really good place for me. If I can beat up this skink, I can pick this up like no issues. Right now, it's a 4 plus. But only having one dice isn't very good. On that attack. That's not my skink. <laughs> but 4 plus pickup also isn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Running through my options. Do I have any other skinks? These are all Sauruses. I've got this skink only. You'd have to dodge to get here anyway. <laughs> Considering my options. <laughs> right, we should maybe start with something else. With the violence. Look at this guy in there. He might make a big difference actually. That's one dice now. One dice still isn't good. I wish I wasn't a push. I like you being next to my, my big guy. Mm, I'll push you that way and stay where I am. I'd rather go 4 plus. Wait, wait, who does that help? That doesn't help anyone. This. This is the hit I need. Unlucky! <laughs> it was similar chances for me to be able to pick up this ball and run away, or beat that guy up on one dice. But rolling a two and then a one wasn't what I was going for. <laughs> Probably had better chance of rolling the 4 plus and then getting the 2 plus rushes. <laughs> You'd have tried to. Yeah, because basically rolling anything but a 1 or a 2 would have got me safe. And that's the equivalent of rolling a 4 plus. No. Yeah, it's, it's more likely. You can't roll two things. It's like rolling a 2 plus. <laughs> or a 3 plus. It's, like it's rolling a 3 plus. Four good options. But rolled the two that I can roll. <laughs> I still believe I still have I have skinks close enough that they could grab that ball. This guy, grab that ball, and he could rush to the goal. Just has to succeed his rolls. He's okay. 
It's fine. That is closer. <laughs> I get another skink to grab this and succeed a bunch of rolls, hand it to him. Where are all my skinks? There's one of my skinks. That's one of my skinks, but he's a bit unconscious. Oh, he, he went for it. He messed it up. He messed it up. He caught it. You're not my skin car, you know. So basically he went to pick it up, he fumbled it, and it like passes on to the next person who can catch it. But because he missed a catch, which was his action, his action was to try and catch it. Um, It's a fumble. Uh, so he ends his turn. Oh my god. The Croxagora has been nothing but failure. But it's right, he can't make it. I don't think he can even, he can't even hand it off to anyone who can make it, so this one's a draw. I thought I'd start with what looked like a safe move. Disaster. I wanted some star player points on my croc to go. <laughs> but to be fair, I didn't have any good ins on this guy. And there you go, he's turned over his turn too. Um, badly hurt. Gonna long take uh, no long term effect. That's fine, I won't bother with the apothecary. Alright, he has accepted the draw. <laughs> Now I'm interested what happens to my ELO, oh ELO, I'm, I'm interested what happens to my ELO here. On a draw, does it stay the same? Does it go down? I think he gained two, but he gained two points I think, and I gained zero. Okay, I guess I was on a win streak I suppose. Or maybe because my score's higher, he gets some points for drawing, and I don't get any points for drawing because I was higher ranked, I guess. I got a lot of points on this guy! Let's go check him out. Then I gotta get ready for bed. He's got 12 points! He's been doing everything! Look at this guy! You got seven points in that match alone. What were you up to? <laughs> what were you doing? Well, what do I give you? I've already got a sneaky get. I could have two sneaky gets, and he could get Daddy Player first. <laughs> well fought. He could get a secondary skill. He's got enough points for a secondary. He doesn't have enough for an attribute point though. That would be nice. What do I do with you? What does defensive do? Don't tell your opponent any player marked by this player cannot use guard. Not that. Not really what I'm looking for. Like, kind of useful. I could see defensive being useful because they just pop some skinks around and some guard units. Sure feet as. Uh, for a rush. Sidestep? I could take sidestep. And make him my sort of ball carrier. What would I be looking at? Be looking at sidestep. And I'd be looking at. Sure hands. And re-roll a pickup test. Maybe we start with this then since we have 12. Make you my dedicated ball carrier. Hmm. It's tricky because I'm also like, ah, but then if I if I buy a, a chameleon skink, I kinda want that to be my ball carrier. And they probably don't need to be like a juggernaut or anything, buddy. None of these are, are probably what we're looking for. It's tricky to know what to do with them. I was almost want to say for a characteristic. I need to make him like really fast. To make him an even better ball carrier. 
Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll take sidestep. No, it's your hands. Or pro. You get re-rolls on pro. You roll three plus. You can re-roll anything. It's risky though. What if you don't roll three plus? What do you want, little skink? I wish I could ask it. I wish I could ask the skink what it wants. Sure hands is really good. So is pro. Ah, it's such a hard choice. <laughs> it's so hard to get points. I don't know what to go for. Maybe I'll take size step and then save for a characteristic. Let's do that. All right, got sidestep, and now the characteristic cost 20. Okay, they still got six points. Okay, I think we made the right choice. <laughs> Tricky choice, there was a lot to consider. But so far, my best team. <laughs> all right, all right, I need to get ready for bed. The, the game went on uh, longer than I should have been playing for, really. <laughs> so I gotta get ready. I woke up extra early this morning too, so I gotta go to bed early. So I could try and get up early again tomorrow morning. Because I was able to play Final Fantasy before work and that was great. And I worked out before work. So I did like my normal after work thing is that I go into the gym, work out, and then I can chill. But, you know, I'd already done it. So, <laughs> so I could just chill. <laughs> uh, and I gotta play some Final Fantasy before work, which was rad. I stick some socials in chat, maybe? I press the button, there we go. Uh, if you want to follow me some other places, there are some other places you can follow me. I hope you all had fun. Thank you, Harlow. And I'll be playing more of this because I'm having a lot of fun with Blood Bowl. Uh, on Thursday, same time as this stream, I will be streaming Darkest Dungeon? Darkest Dungeon. I'm sure it's Darkest Dungeon. And then Saturday is Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sure that's the right order. I need to double check. I'm sure that's the way around. <laughs> yeah. Darkest Dungeon on Thursday. Yu-Gi-Oh on, on Saturday. Heck yeah. <laughs> so I hope to see you guys then. Good night everyone. Good night. Bye bye. See you on Thursday. See ya. Wait, I just I just realised, Hollow. I didn't skink you. I didn't skink you, Hollow, for resubscribing. I got so hype about it, and then just didn't skink. I'll give you skink next time I see you, Hollow. <laughs> remind me. Remind me you need skink time. Good night. Bye bye. Scammed. I know. I know. <laughs> bye. Good night.